The news out of Maui and the death toll climbing to 111 overnight as we learn more about what may have sparked the first fire. Gio Benitez starts us off with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Michael, good morning. Yeah, for the first time, we're seeing new videos now of what may have started these fires in the first place, and they seem to point to downed power lines. It's all part of the investigation as the heartache here just grows. This morning, as the death toll continues to grow on Maui, new video surfaces raising questions as to what may have sparked the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. 111 people now confirmed dead, hundreds unaccounted for. Search and rescue teams have covered 38% of the impact zone. FEMA, the Red Cross, and the military all on the ground. I can tell you it's going to be a long and costly recovery, but much of that work will be done here with our local people. And watch as this security camera captures what could be an early trigger in that devastating wildfire. August 7th at 1047 p.m. a day earlier, you hear a witness describe a flash that might be a tree falling on a power line. It's windy and then there's a flash and I think that's when a tree is falling on a power line. The power goes out. One expert saying those videos taken in upcountry Maui show the flames spreading and maybe the first evidence of downed power lines igniting a fire. We've got that video of that kind of explosion and we've got 10 sensors in that community that show a very sharp drop in electrical voltage at precisely that same time. Power line just went down. By the next morning, August 8th at 6.37 a.m. in Lahaina, Shane True uses a garden hose to battle a fire. That's the power line that started started from up the road there, and all of that is still burning. Authorities declaring that brush fire under control around 9 a.m., but then lost control of the flames hours later when the winds caused a flare-up to spread. By 5 p.m., Lahaina's historic Front Street up in flames. The power company saying it is still investigating what triggered the fire, adding the cause has not been determined. The loss weighing heavy as families are now being asked to provide DNA to account for the dead. Overnight, we spoke to the family of Bo Makai Estoris Lozano, the 28-year-old still missing since last Tuesday. His mother telling us police visited her home to swab for DNA. I want to hang on to the hope that he's alive, but after doing something like this, like, how do you hold on to that? And the president and first lady plan to visit Maui on Monday. Now, FEMA has promised full support for the survivors who just have lost everything. They say they need those survivors, though, to apply for that support. So far, they say only 1,300 households have applied. Michael. Yeah, as much support as we can give, they can use. GL, thank you so much for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.